Hello everyone, I'm Greglock, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 66 of Crestorio. So I found out between episodes that the grid is actually a debug setting, it's just in here. And I don't want to run around with it all the time, so honestly just to figure out where I want these. And it doesn't really matter because with the distance between them they will always be in each their own chunk. These large big black lines. So I don't really think we need the grid. Get it. Let's just make sure all of this will be mined. Good. Will these reach each other? Yeah, good, 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 good. good. And these, of course, has to go all the way past our smelting. Because those smelters will be the main, I think at least the main pollution output. Maybe the the miners are as bad, but and maybe the furnaces aren't that bad because they're electric. I don't know about that. Well, there's some stuff in the way in here. I guess we'll just do this manually then. And this is fine chunk wise. Good. That should be fine. And if we just go in here and pass this signal, then the filter train should be coming in. And if we had any power, we would have filters in the system. And then if we just add some of these and some power to this and stop this train for a bit. And bring this train out of the way. And then send this train on its way. We should have enough for all of our filters now. All of our purifiers. I guess we should have put in power in this blueprint. Mm. Do we need this in all of the spots? I guess we do. At least they can reach the potential beacons on the side as well. And we have power to all of this, let's just have a look. So that small burst of mining actually made a bit of pollution. This pollution, is that from the trains? I guess it is. I wasn't actually aware of that. Oh, we have some pollution starting to spill out up here. That might be a bad thing. Maybe we should extend these filters out here. That would probably help. Pollution probably still comes from our smelting. 
Oh, we should also put insert us in. No, oh, this. Yeah, this is the output, of course. Let's copy that. Good, that should be everything, right? And we have to select the recipe for these, of course. And then we have half a belt of iron. Let's just see how much space we have in here. This is our analog for a beacon. And we actually have the exact space we need, that's nice. Please remove the trees. Good. Connect this one as well. And are we already out of underground belt again? Holy moly. That went faster. Oops. Let's get this out of there. Have we gotten any stone by any chance? Nope. We need somewhere in the base that produces repair packs. I don't want to be producing those in hand all the time. So these should be combined to one belt, right? Guess we can get somewhat close to two belts out of this. Maybe we shouldn't be combining these. I don't know. It should still only be one belt in total. Can we just craft some of these? Not really, no. Let's see how much other stuff we need before we go back again. Well, I guess there's some iron under there. Just a bit of iron here that we need to mine as well. Good. Let's remove these again. Oops. And let's get this tank in our pocket. And 
just two more. Actually, should we merge these? No, we shouldn't. Good, so we need some stuff. A couple of miners, it seems. Four in total. Maybe we can get those from optimizing a bit here. Again, we don't need any of the miners that doesn't have any ore under them, because neighboring drills can reach all the other ore. That's more. Oh yeah, well, this one can reach it. Never mind. So that takes care of all of the miners. So we need some furnaces. 50, 60. Yeah, we'll get those. And a lot of underground builds still. I thought we set this up, but I guess we just forgot to confirm it like always. Also some inserters and some power poles, but we have those requested already. Good, good. How does the pollution look? Some is actually slipping out down here. That's a bit concerning. We might need to add more filters or purifiers then. So a train actually lets out a full small block of pollution, it seems. And we should put a radar down here, of course. Let's try and remember that. Did we connect the iron plate to the train? Well, two of them we did. I know it seems like these are backed up, but that's mainly because the the, the few furnaces had a a backup of iron plates before we connected the output, I believe at least. I might be wrong, of course. It's happened before. Let's take some more underground build if we had any. We have the poles, the inserters, some of the underground build at least the furnaces. I think we want to request more furnaces than this. Not for this exact outpost, but for future outposts. 400 maybe? Let's go with that. We could also just put some more wagons on this train and put stuff in there for outposts, but Let's not do that right now. I think we are okay now. It's only really underground belt that we might be a bit low on. I don't remember exactly how many we needed. So 50 for each of these. So 100, 200 with this one. 250. We only have 130, so not enough at all, nope. We need more iron gear wheels in there. Could you not? Whoops. Are they taking these instantly? That's stupid. Yes, they are.
should we be producing more of these? Or is it just a case of us wanting a lot right now and not really ever again? So, while we wait for it, we might as well make some more production of it. Did we get rid of all of the yellow belt in the system? Actually, we should probably do this. Do we want... Oh, dang. No, we're producing yellow belt up here. Maybe this is not a good idea. Never mind. We're using all of the yellow belt in these. So we don't need to. Request them down here as well. How many underground belts do we have? 200, so we just need a couple more. Guess we should increase that request as well then of future outposts. You can also be unlimited a bit more. Or oh. be less restricted at least. Are we making stag inserters somewhere? We are. Should we just request a couple of stacks of those? I think that would make some things a bit better. So yeah, this can run unlimited like that. It doesn't really help when we don't have any more iron gear wheels available in that build anyway. But we are getting a lot of them from up here. I we actually have enough now. So let's go and finish that outpost. So we can bring some more iron to our bus. That is still a limit, right? Nope. I guess since we stopped doing research, we backed up on everything, including iron. So if you don't accelerate all the time with trains, it will produce less pollution apparently. In some ways I guess that makes sense, but in others you would need more fuel to actually accelerate than keeping a steady pace. Thank god for robots. Why is this not running? Oh, it's just a matter of time. That's not a lot of iron ore in that system. Good. 
so it's not entirely four belts, but it's pretty close. Let's just make sure that these don't back up over time. Oh, this is not backed up anymore. And these shouldn't be either. Actually, there's even some holes in there, but that might be my mistake. I think this is fine. fine. All of these belts should be running full time, so as long as that's the case, we are smelting all the stuff that we can. So I guess we need some fuel in this train. Is that it? Did we want more purifiers? Because this could get out of hand, possibly. Why does it seem like that one is not running? Maybe we are just... Or well, maybe it's just because there's so much pollution production in this. So maybe we should have moved them all down one tile, but... What happens if we do this? So oh, we need to keep the power, of course. Come on. Okay. The RoboPod won't reach all of these, so let's do this instead. That should make it a bit better. Maybe we just need to change this blueprint so it can handle more pollution in each chunk. This was just everything we could fit around a big electric pole. But if we just add a small pole as well, or a medium pole, then we have room for a lot more. be going down now. I think it will. We don't ever get entirely down over here though, so it might spread this way still, if we are unlucky. So I guess we just add some more filtering that way as well. Actually, should we just do it like this and not care about getting it one chunk out? Maybe that's fine. So as soon as these get some filters, and those are on the way, there's the first ones. This pollution should also be filtered now, or purified, hopefully. Down to one chunk. And on, honestly, it's only a guess that if they get rid of all of it, that it won't spread past them, but it seems to be the case everywhere else. I think this will dissipate over time. 
and this seems to spread because this one tile doesn't get entirely purified ever. Should we start making new blueprints for this? I guess so. Should we involve some defenses in it? Don't really... don't feel like that's really necessary. I want this to be in line with the others, but let's not do that right now. Can, how can these four not give up? Maybe it's because this is constantly producing. I think that's actually the case. So whenever something produces pollution in an area, it won't ever get entirely clear of it. Whether or not that means that that chunk will always spread the pollution even if it's being purified, I do not know. But we can make a test, I guess. And move this out to the next chunk. And we need a robot out here. Let's just put some filters in ourselves. And robots bringing more good. So now this junk is actually being purified. Can they spread diagonally, I wonder, the pollution? Is this a hole in the purification and these? Those are the questions. Hmm... I don't think so. I think this will dissipate now. And that's with the same amount of purifiers as before. Maybe we can even remove these now. This is good science. We are learning that this is not possible. We do need all of the chunks to be free of pollution creation. Oh, now this is actually not getting cleaned. So there just is too much pollution in here to get cleaned by one of these, it seems. That seems off, somehow. But I'm guess that I guess that's just me. So how is this train doing? It's basically full, good. What is this train station called? Iron plate one. Cargo. Did we make a new station back home already? Bus iron plate, yes. Empty cargo and go. Good. We just want to make sure that everything here is running while we do these pollution tests. Has these gotten worse? Maybe not. It does seem like it's spreading a bit down this way still though, so maybe the diagonals are a problem.
This should be able to reach out here, right? But anyway, as long as if if we just try to keep some chunks between ourselves and the pollution sources, that will mean that we have more space for more yeah. chunks being purified anyway, and that should help all overall. I don't know if we want to make a new blueprint for more purifiers. Maybe we should just try and see what we can make. How about five purifiers? No, this one won't fit. Mm, where do we want the requester chests? Up here. We might also be able to Share some of these chests. What if we just move that down one tile more? Is this pretty enough? Something like this. It's not as dense as the other one. Maybe we should put these on the other side. Let's try out one tile and making it like that instead. Is that something we like? It's a bit better I think. This power pole just annoys me a bit but maybe that's fine. Unless we can get this in the middle somehow. Is that possible with one power pole? No, it's not. But maybe this is just as well. It is, does take a few more resources, but it just looks nice and is pretty dense. I think we could even make this non oh, normal mode. Just have one of those in every set of these. And then they could also have construction bots coming and replacing everything that might get destroyed. I think I might like that. Also, we don't have to rotate this ever. We can just go directly up from here. I think I like that. Let's go with this. And just extend this blueprint a tiny bit. I guess the only reason we rotated the other one is because we made a blueprint like this, and then we wanted it to go the other way. I guess we still will want that. Can we... prevent building anything in this? Nope. Maybe we should just have both a horizontal and a vertical blueprint of this then. Or maybe we should place them manually. It's just a bit annoying with the power poles.
But I think it's an okay idea. Put those in next to each other and remove this old, old one. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.